thousand dollars. I think Bitcoin at this point. Is Charlie the guy who uh, was running Silk Road? No. Oh, okay. that was Ross Ulbricht. Ross Ulbricht. Allegedly, right? Allegedly. Okay. Is that um, the guy you were telling me about? Who? Yeah. Uh, we were talking about on the phone. Mm, I think so. Yeah. What's his story? So he was in like a library or something. Yes, that was crazy. Uh, so, the Silk Road. There's been many versions after him. Yeah. Because. I guess it's a popular idea, but mm -hmm. basically and that's why Bitcoin has such a bad rap to it because people think about buying drugs or buying organs or buying whatever, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Human well, so, trafficking. So basically Ross and or uh, people around Ross or a group of people built this thing in 2000, probably 11 or 10, mm -hmm. maybe 2000. 10, yeah, 11. no, no, it's probably 2011 or 12. Mm -hmm. They built uh, this thing called the Silk Road, and it ran on the dark web, right? Um, which is uh, sort of a area of the internet that you can't really access unless you know how to get there. But um, the it was basically eBay for, with, but you used Bitcoin, and you could list anything on there. So while one could easily sell shirts or tchotchkes or knitted sweaters mm -hmm. um i'd say that there was a large amount of uh drug sales on the silk road mm -hmm. and it was brought to the attention of some political folks i think the famous video was like chuck schumer who is like looking at it it was like a news story and chuck schumer was like scrolling he's like oh my god you can buy anything on here <laughs> and that's when they exploded like that's when it became like a that, that was like huge advertising for them. People were like, Oh wait, I can do what? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they went on, uh, Silk Road and, uh, you could buy, basically you'd pay for it with Bitcoin and then it would get mailed to you, you know? So just like eBay, except for, you know, anything, and anything, basically it was free market. Right. Mm -hmm. And people didn't like it. Well, no, people loved it. The government didn't like it. The government didn't like it. Um, so the, the FBI started investigating and figured out, and actually part of the, I think one of the ways that they were able to track it to him is he had posted a Bitcoin address at some point uh, in a forum to like for somebody to send money to him, and uh, he he went by the handle of the Dread Private Dread Pirate Roberts DPR, and uh, and so this uh, that was able to link that they were able to then link it to link that address to one of the Silk Road addresses. And then to that username, and then just had to figure out who that username was. And um, a lot of people speculate that he may have not been, like, the only guy running, but he was just maybe an admin or something. He definitely was involved, mm -hmm. as far as we can tell. Um, but he, uh, so they figured out who he was, and, yeah, they, they did a sting operation on him, uh, and they did it in a public library. He would go to a public library library to work, and... So the big thing when you're dealing with somebody who's you're trying to investigate or get their, you know, any incriminating evidence that may be on their computer, right? But he's a fairly knowledgeable crypto security guy. So uh, like a lot of, if you're in a position like him where he may or may not be like favorable to the government, uh, or, you know, under investigation or something, uh, you might like have a thing where if you, do a certain key press on your computer, it encrypts your whole computer, or if mm. you close your lid, you know, you, it's encrypted. It locks lock it, it so they can't yeah. get into it. Um, so they set up this thing where this male and female FBI agent pretended to get into a fight at in the library. Uh -huh. Like, right, they were, like, right near him. And the fight was, es like, escalated to a point where he felt like he needed to get involved. So what he did is he sat his laptop down open and stood up to go approach them or something. And that's the moment where they basically pounced. And she, the, the dude moved to restrain him. And then the, the girl went and threw this thumb drive thing in his computer that would keep, keep it from shutting down and start downloading everything off of it. What? Yeah. They have these little, it's, it's like a little, it's just like a little. It's like a thumb drive that just sucks everything out of the computer? Yeah, basically. And, he and, didn't also, have and, any it's, kind and of it's also got like a mouse wiggler in it. So basically, like if the so it won't let the laptop go idle, you just keep wiggling the mouse or something. So it keeps. And then they, so yeah, they got him. And then they uh, leveled all these crazy charges on him. 
um, the to this day when I talk to people about Ross Ulbricht, they're like, oh yeah, isn't that a guy that did Murder for Hire uh, on the Silk Road? There was a Murder for Hire charge placed on him as this long list of charges. And one of them was murder for hire. And that's the one that made like all the headlines mm. that he basically was trying to have somebody off and pay them in Bitcoin, you know, and this thing. But, at, but before the trial even started, like that was completely dropped. Like there was, it was completely baseless. No, no basis in fact whatsoever. And, but it's enough to like, it, why to did this, they come up with that? Why did they say that? I, to smear him. Really? Yeah, I think nobody like tried to try to pay somebody on Silk Road as like a hitman. The, there's the old saying that you know uh, that a lie can go around the world twice before the truth gets its shoes on. <laughs> you know, that's funny. So like you know the redaction of that or the fact that those charges are dropped isn't news, but the charges themselves are are good news. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like like posting that this kid was doing murder for hire stuff, you know, makes sells newspapers, but like saying, Oh, that was retracted like a year later or, mm. or doesn't, but either way they, what they got him for. Well, maybe um, they said that, maybe they said that like somebody did like on silk road, tried to hire a hitman to commit a murder on his platform. No, they were saying, so he therefore did. he's no, no, guilty. No, they of said it. that he did it himself. That was the, that was the implication was he did it himself. Okay. But, but do you that, know? Do you know if charge, anyone did that? Do you know? That? Do you know if that was something that happened on Silk Road? It, I don't think it did happen on Silk Road. No, it's not really uh, like a, I don't know how you would advertise like murder. I mean, would you just say I don't know if you put up a posting like, "Hey, I'll, I'll kill people for you." I don't. I don't Enforcer think, or like I, I don't think I think they did have I, I think they did have terms of service. I'm not an expert on it, but I think they, they did. did have, <laughs> I think they did have terms of service. I'm pretty sure that would have been outside. <laughs> And they might have flagged it or something. The yeah, they might have flagged it. Okay. So I don't, I don't think that actually was happening on Silk Road, and uh, he definitely was not involved in it personally. Mm-hmm. So, but that that kind of helped soil his reputation, though. And then, I mean, basically, he was made example of. I, I think uh, they they hit him with like kingpin charges for for all the drug stuff. Uh, it resulted in the arrests of a bunch of. Uh, people who were actually dealing drugs um, because they were able to tie them, tie their addresses to them personally through like chain analysis or something. They, mm. they made missteps, missteps somewhere along the way to, mm. to, to compromise their identities mm-hmm. on the blockchain. And they, so they were made several arrests on the, um, uh, of actual drug dealers. But to my knowledge, I don't think Ross ever, dealt any drugs he just ran the platform you know right so and what he made like hit he, he hit like a middleman fee on the trans- yeah, transactions yeah, middleman fee and 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 he was also the escrow agent so like um now if you send money to somebody uh you have paypal right mm-hmm. and paypal um basically kind of holds the money until and you transfer makes, it and make sure that you send the goods right so they would act as like uh an escrow agent so the the bitcoin they would hold the bitcoin and then release it once it was delivered safely, you know, okay. to the, so actually they were holding a lot of Bitcoin when it was seized. So a lot of people who are using the platform lost a lot of Bitcoin to Damn. the government and they, they, I guess were able to, I don't know if it was on his laptop or if, it, if, if via his laptop, they were able to get access to other servers, but they, uh, it was a lot of Bitcoin. It was like six, 600,000 Bitcoin or 60, 60,000, something like that Bitcoin that was on there. It was Jeez. millions of dollars. And they sent it out in uh, increments that, I don't know what it is on the phone, but if you know, uh, on a, on a touch tone phone, you got the numbers that line up with the, or the, the letters that line up, like in the old days, if you wanted to text, you'd do like, uh, you know, like two, let's see, like so, I can't do it in my head, but like, you know, two, one, three would, would like spell a word. It's like each letter had three each number had three letters attached to it. Anyway, like five eight zero zero eight upside down is boobs. On no, the not like that. Like, oh. uh, if you anyhow, it was. I think it was like. Let's see, one is A B C. Two is um, on, a, on a touch tone phone. Two is. Uh, oh, I see D-E-F. what you're saying. Right. I okay, so it was. Yeah, I, I want to say it was. It was two one. They sent it. They sent it out in increments. That was two one. 
th- three or four, two on four, and it was it was the FBI. Like if you typed it into a phone, it'd be FBI, and they so they sent it out of the wall, out of the Ross Ulbricht wallet in those increments that made FBI. So it was like a hundred transactions of, wow. of of that amount to different wallets that the government, and then the government auctioned them off a couple of years later. Really? Yeah. Do you um, know what the current status of his tr- his case is? So or? yeah, it's pretty sad. So he got, uh, like I said, level like he had kingpin charges put on him. So like I, I could use a drug kingpin, and he got a double life sentence. So he's in jail forever. They've appealed it. A double Several, life sentence. Double life sentence, yeah. For running a website where people can yeah, sell I drugs. I think he was like 25 or 26 when it was all happened. So, yeah, so he's got a double life sentence. His mom, who's a great person, his name, her name's Lynn. Um, uh, if you go to freeross.org, you can find a bunch of information about him and his case. She runs freeross.org. She's spoken at my meetup before. Um, a couple of years ago and you know she basically I mean she's his mom so I mean, of course but she talks about they've done they've appealed it all the way to the Supreme Court and basically his only hope now is a presidential pardon really that's all he's got left yeah it's a presidential party so there's Fuck. so free Ross org they're trying to do like petitions and stuff to how old was Trump. he when he went in what's that how old was he when he went into he was prison in his 20s in his god yeah I'm pretty sure he was like 25, 26, something like that. You know, a couple years out of college. And, you know, she says he was just an idealistic, an idealistic yeah. kid. You know, he just wanted to create this marketplace to mm-hmm. facilitate trade and whatever. He wasn't like trying to be a drug kingpin or ruin mm-hmm. people's lives or anything like that. Or, um, But, yeah, that's what you get for building certain websites is double life sentences. So it's pretty bad. Uh, so yeah, but there's more still. Gro- like there's more. Go ahead. What were you saying? I was gonna say anybody listening, go to freeross.org and check out his story and uh, what you can do to help. Yeah. Now, aren't there other websites like Silk Road out there now? Yeah. Like dark web style websites where you can buy. Oh, yeah. And as buy soon stuff. as that Silk Road went down, somebody built another one. Right. And that one, that one scammed everybody. Like uh, the, the second one that was built. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Once they got to a certain critical mass of. Mm-hmm. You know, because they were acting as an escrow agent as well. So instead of the FBI stealing all their money, uh, stealing all the users' money like the original Silk Road, this guy just, once he got to a certain amount of Bitcoin that he had, um, he just shut everything down and took the money and ran. Jeez. But yeah, since then, there have been tons um, of people that makes different, I mean, it's just, it was a good idea, or a popular idea. Mm. It got a lot of traction, so... And if you think about it, you know, if you, if you're into doing drugs or whatever, uh, it's a pretty safe way of acquiring, like, I know that there's, I mean, I had a friend of mine in college who, he got, like, carjacked and beat up once just trying to get, um, some drugs from some neighborhood once. Oh, you mean, like, on the streets? Yeah, he went yeah. to the wrong neighborhood and they stole his car. It had his guitar, his heavy guitar in the back seat. Yeah. They stole his car and beat him up. God damn, dude. And uh, he was just trying to buy some weed, I think. What? And, Where uh, was he? It was in Augusta, Georgia. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so it's dangerous. So, I mean, it's uh, yeah. for all parties involved, you know, just paying some money and getting it in the mail. If it's just something yeah. you're, you know, it's just for your own recreational purposes and whatever, and you, mm-hmm. you know, it's your body, you can screw it up however you want, or or become enlightened however you look at yeah. it, right? Um, they just need to legalize drugs, man. It makes everything so much yeah. better. All drugs.